I'm reviewing 3D Solutex PETG. This is their translucent yellow. There are many reasons why you would want to choose PETG. It's FDA approved, it is extremely strong, and after you find basically everyone's referring to it as the sweet spot, then you actually can print like it's PLA and be as strong as ABS. To help me figure out what temperature is needed, I actually downloaded a PETG calibration for temperature. And after that's completed, it looked, it was very subtle differences between the recommended 200 and 220 degrees Celsius. But I found 205 worked very well. Retraction is something that you are really going to have to work with because PETG is very stringy and it can create little bitty globs that will stick to your nozzle and then, you know, later on in your print it will stick somewhere and it, it can get a little frustrating. So retraction you might want to run a few tests with. I actually had to lower my print speed. I'm used to printing at 90 and I lowered it down to 55 and the print speed I changed to 50 and retraction normally for me it's 4.5 but I ended up going down to 4 and that seemed to work better. So you can see I have a little retraction problem through here and a couple of strings. There's definitely some um, calibration that I need to to tweak but overall it came out really well. These pictures were taken just after I removed the touching bill plate before sanding. Um, as you can see the layers actually look pretty good. I have a little few strings and I need to adjust the retraction a little bit. But overall it's a nice solid piece and I definitely will be using this again. I hope that this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.